Okay, James P. Madonna. James P. Madonna here. Uh, uh, Royal Abachi Buffet, uh, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Of course, here's my favorite sign of all times. Oh, look at this. Bless their hearts. Well, I don't know about bless their hearts. So let's see Salvatore Mercurio and, uh, and the Commodore Jeff Zambello and Exorcist Bishop Ryan from the hit show Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Very soon. My buddy there is going to get his... Uh, his own series on the Travel Channel, long time series. Exorcist Bishop Brian. Alright, let's see what we, I, can, I can find some duck that will cause me to be in luck. You know how duck is, you know. It's a lot of, a lot of skin and bones and only so much meat to go around. Well, I guess that's, that's it. At the Crawdads here, in honor of uh, uh, Ronald J. Cheerio, Cheerio to Ronald J. Cheerio. Right, the Crawdads over there. Too much work for me to be cleaning those damn things. Baby bok choy, yellow split, yellow split pea soup. I'm sure Linda Blair would appreciate this from The Exorcist. No, she, she used the green split soup. Yeah, she used the green one. Everything is full. Everything is full. The Chinese food is full. Look at the size of these mushrooms, I tell you. I always love mushrooms. I'm a fun guy. I am definitely a fun guy, there's no doubt about that. Look at the size of it, beautiful. Fun guy, fun guy. Royal Abachi Buffet, Route 46 West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. There we go, do not touch with hands, all right? I got it. Look at the size of these mushrooms. Look how big. The mushrooms. They're huge. These mushrooms are gigantic. Wonderful. As long as they're not radioactive mushrooms. <laughs> well, what happened to the party room? Sorry? Oh, the party room is in it. Nobody's scheduled. Well, Commodore Jeff Sambell, uh, like, like it was every week. Look at that. They totally wiped out the King Kong Camarones. One shrimp, two shrimp, no, not even. They took all the shrimp. You know, the human nature is really vile. But I know what I'm going to have. I'm going to take some of that. Um, Baked big ziti in uh, vodka sauce, pink sauce. And I'm going to cover it with the uh, the bouillabaisse base here, the Italian style bouillabaisse. base. With, uh, oh, look at that base scallop! Oh, got clams, got mussels. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Here we got the sacrificial lamb, lamb ribs. Okay. Let's see what else I can put on this plate. Salmon only for dinner. Oh, that's right. He puts out the salmon uh, filet, the the broil filet. Now this just proves how popular the buffalo chicken hot wings is for your next sporting event party here at Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. You can buy these buffalo hot chicken wings to go in bulk and bring it home for your very next sporting event part. Look how wiped out it is. Oh, there's more, there's more, look at that. 
Buffalo hot wings in action. Look at that. He's refilling it. Beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. From a huge stainless steel bowl that... I mean, I got them at home, but I don't have them that big. So there we go. There's a good bird's eye view of the uh, buffalo chicken hot wings for your next sporting event part. Please do not touch with hand. Remember when George Costanza on Seinfeld says, um, I've got hand, I, I, I have hand with the girl. I don't have hand, something like that. I don't have hand, and then his girlfriend that dumped him says, well, you're going to need it. There he is. Look at that. I always want, you know, this is what confuses me. I, I always wondered if they had blue cheese dressing here, because or, I can't tell the difference between creamy Italian ranch and blue cheese dressing unless you you identify which is which and I have no idea I mean there's a there's the feta cheese all right ah oh, Belgian waffles you know it's a good combination Belgian waffles and ice cream when I was a kid there was a place that served hard ice cream scooped between two pieces of Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles and ice cream is an old-fashioned delight. Actually, you got to use vanilla ice cream, just like with pie a la mode and hot apple strudel, which is almost gone. Okay, got to use vanilla. It doesn't taste good with any other flavor, you jabronis up there. Okay, vanilla ice cream with Belgian waffles. Hey, there's the Larry Fine style uh, kiwi fruit. Larry Feinstein with the ball with the bald head. Oh, what we got here? Did the avocado salad? And I guess that's it. There's always something different. Always something different here. Now, let's check out the seafood salad. Not bad, not bad. Not too bad. A good mixture of seafood. Yes, ratio of seafood to uh, green bell peppers and veggies is not bad at all. I think that's going to be my next, my next uh, dump on the plate. on uh, the roast duck and gigantic radioactive mushrooms there, Jeff Zambello. Do not touch with hands. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And there he is, the king of Mongolian barbecue once again at Royal Hibachi Buffet. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food. And there he is. Look at all those camarones, all the shrimp. Look at that. It's a cornucopia of shrimp. King Kong camarones. Look at that. The vapors of life are ascending to heaven, as always, Commodore Jeff Zambello. I also give a shout out to former competitive bodybuilder and current female professional wrestler, Melissa Coates. Greetings, Melissa Coates. There's a lot of delectable, succulent, high protein for your muscles, for your mitochondria, right there. Especially if you ate, ate this food like uh, Homer Simpson, you would get lots of high quality grams of animal protein for those muscles of yours. Especially the muscles at the bottom of your feet. <laughs> uh, I know I'm a, I'm a sarcastic bastard, huh? With a warped sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, I digress. 
Look at it. Look at the vapors of life ascending into heaven. From all that shrimp. Beautiful. What a beautiful sight. Now I'm going to try some of the uh, mixed marinated seafood salad. I might come here and get some Mongolian barbecue though. I might. All right. Away I go. I know what I said I was going to do. Um, well, I don't know. Should I or shouldn't I? I know I'm always I'm always getting the scrod card. I'm always getting the scrod card for lay, but I'm always getting the same thing. But let me. But then if I don't get it. If I don't get the scribe card fillet, it vanishes. See, that's the problem. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get some scribe card There's the barbecue lamb ribs. It's great. It's kind of greasy though, but it's great. It tastes great. That's the nature of lamb and duck high in fat. Okay, here we go. Baby, baby octopus. You know, it'd be nice if they said a chicken pot pie if they made octopot pie from octopus. What do you think? What do you think, Commodore Jeff Sambello? It is loaded with seafood this time. Look at the mussels, the calamari. Look at that. The mussels, the calamari. It's absolutely loaded this week. Maybe it's because it's overcast and rainy outside. Every time it rains, the seafood is usually very good. Because I think about seafood when it rains. We got shrimp in there. We got the black Atlantic mussels. Look at that. Look at that beautiful sight. Look at that. Look at that. Cornucopia. A cornucopia. Fruit de Damar. From King Neptune's uh, domain. Look at that. It is, I am very impressed. It is loaded with a variety of seafood. It really is. Look at that. This is, I mean, for $12, for God's sake, so you can eat? What a value. What a value. I need lemons. Well, what happened? I don't see any. Uh, oh, they're gone. They're gone. Wow, you're athletic, man. It's snowing. Oh, it is? Oh, you're right, it is snowing. This is crazy weather. It was raining when I got here. It's, look, it's actually snowing. How about that? Maybe it's the bat soup. Maybe it's the bat soup. I'm, that's making everybody batty. I'm making the weather like this. Who the hell knows? Yeah, more Mongolian barbecue action. Look at this. Beef. Lo mein noodles. I guess shrimp. Look at that. Beautiful. The vapors of life ascending into heaven. Commodore Jeff Zimbel. A uh, little light in the sushi though. A little light in the sushi. I don't know man. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. What was I going to do? I was going to get some. Oh look at this. Look at this. They got more uh, 
seafood medley. And they put out the uh, salmon fillet. The salmon fillet. That's for dinner only, but I don't, I don't want any. Here's got whiting, deep fried whiting. It's not codfish, it's white. They call it a codfish, but they, they don't change the signs. All right. All right, I'm going to get some of this uh, bouillon balls, bouillon vase, whatever. First, I'm going to put a bed of uh, creamy pink sauce, ziti with creamy pink sauce. All right. Here's my favorite sign in the whole world. Please do not touch with your hands. You, you filthy bastards, you. You jabronis, you jabronis. All right. Get some in there. Not too much because I, I'm on a low carb program. Get some in there. I guess a lot of the clam meat fell out of the clams. So hopefully, I'll be able to fish out some scallops. See some calamari. Fruit de Damar, the broth of the sea. The broth of Davy Jones's locker. Davy Jones's uh, crotch, or King, no, King Neptune's crotch. Is that right, Commodore Jeff's King Neptune's crotch. The flavor of King Neptune's crotch. Right, I don't want to end up with a lot of broth, and it's going to be like a swamp. It'll be dripping all over the floor. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pass on the lamb ribs because it is really sitting in fat. And I don't want to get an upset stomach from all, all that grease. So anyway, I am returning. I am returning to my table. Returning to my table. Look at that. Let's take a little visit to the dessert area. I think they put some more dessert items. Here's the old ice cream. Uh, hopefully they're going to put out more Belgian waffles because I love vanilla ice cream on, on waffles. Okay, I have no idea what the hell this is, but it looks good. And we got some radioactive uh, glowing cake. Got some flan over there. I think it's flan. Uh, let's see what we got here. Won't be there for long, though, that's for sure. I guarantee. Very great, they put out more vanilla ice cream. Just in case they put out more uh, Belgian waffles. Strawberry, chocolate. I still have no idea what the hell designer sauce is for the uh, ice cream. Designer sauce. I have no idea what the hell that means.
Okay, what? now it's time for ice cream. Nope. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the Jerry Seinfeld system. I'm going to put this so-called designer sauce, chocolate sauce, designer. I don't know what the heck designer is on the bottom. This way, every spoonful of ice cream has an equal amount of chocolate on it. So it, the chocolate sauce syrup doesn't spill on the table. So I'm going to put the vanilla ice cream That's on, it. Yeah. on top of this. There you go. On top of the... Uh, all right. Yeah, I got it. Might as well leave it up. Ice cream. See? This is called the Jerry, the Jerry Seinfeld system, right? No spillage of chocolate syrup on the table. All right. Your jabronis out there, and you get an equal amount of chocolate syrup with vanilla ice cream with every bite. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. That should be should be sufficient. All right, it's all yours. It's all yours. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.